Okay, so this is your sterile dressing underneath here. And this is just Tegaderm that I have around here. This is kind of just showing what I would do on a weekly basis so that my son would be able to have his baths also without having to worry about anything. After I have this dressing, the Tegaderm over the top of the sterile dressing, I would take another Tegaderm and cut it in half. And then I would put a, another slit into it. And then I would take this dressing or this Tegaderm up under the line itself. And then I would just start peeling this back so that way it's creating a barrier underneath the line also to help with any water. And I just kind of fold it up over the top of each other. And then just peel all this off. And smooth it out. So now if you look it's actually created a spot underneath that's gonna be sealed up. Then I would take this other half of the Tegaderm and I would just place it over the top. So that way it just kind of protects what I already put on there. And this would last usually the whole entire week um, if it would start peeling up on the edges or anything. I wouldn't worry about doing another dressing change unless the, the actual sterile dressing has gotten wet itself. Otherwise, I would just take another piece of Tegaderm and plop it right over the other that was coming up and just keep an eye on it every single day. Now, to go swimming, you obviously, and excuse my makeshift line here, have it clamped, have your green curl cap over the top. And what I would do with his line is I would take it up over the top of this so that way it's folded up and then here comes a bunch more tegaderm and on this tegaderm i would just start placing it over the top make sure it's overlapping what you already have down the original tegaderm and i just keep on going all the way around and it does take a lot And I just kept on going throughout the whole thing, making sure everything's done up, sealed up really, really well. And I'm, again, going past what was already down for the weekly tegaderms that are there. So obviously, I'm not using as much as I normally would if I was doing for him to go swimming. So this kind of just gives you an idea of what I was doing. Now, for the for here, where the clamp is at and the curo cap, that's where I would put a bunch of layers. And I would just keep on going. So that way, um, nothing would puncture through. As they are in the pool, swimming, no lakes, no rivers, no streams, um, and no saltwater pools. They say chlorine pools only. Um, my son has gone to the water park and has enjoyed water parks doing this. Um, and you just, uh, um, just keep on going with this as you're doing it. At, throughout the time that he was swimming, I would just really watch it. Um, sometimes, yes, it would start filling up with some water or whatnot in there. And I just knew that once he was done swimming, he needed to have his dressing changed. I didn't worry about and panic, saying that he had to come right out of the pool so we could do the dressing change. We just waited until he was ready. Um, now, with that sterile dressing and the tegaderm that's in there if it's fairly new that you just put it on within the last day or so usually you could just pick off the the tegaderm that you put on there for them to go swimming and you just start by just picking at it and it would come right off for my son without even messing with the original tegaderm as you can see here it's not even touching the original Tegaderm that I had down. Now, if that's an older dressing, yes, it's probably going to start peeling at it. So, if you're going to worry about that, start seeing it peeling. I mean, you don't want to do a dressing change, but you need to have access to the site. Just pick off as much as you can. Be very careful that you don't pull on the line. 
and just print the line out to where you can access it um, and be able to use it. That's that's all that I had done. Most times it doesn't even mess with the old tegaderm or the tegaderm that's underneath if it's brand new. See, it's not even touching. It's not even pulling that off. So basically, that's all that I have ever done right there. Um, they do have what's called opsite tape. That stuff is works wonderful um, if they want to go swimming. Um, and sometimes when I had that tegaderm over there, if I felt like I needed to, especially if he was going to the water park, a little bit rougher waters, I would put that opsite around it just to help hold it down some. But otherwise, that's all there is to it. You know, dress and change afterwards if need be. So, um, you can always contact me if you have any more questions. Thank you.